Hey folks, how's it going? Sandro from socialwoodworks.com and welcome to my video series, SketchUp for Woodworkers. This is video one where I'll be covering the basic uh, installation of SketchUp and getting you set up to start using this awesome tool. So stay tuned and we'll get into the video. And I'm just going to search for Google SketchUp. There it is. And it's the first link here, SketchUp 3D for everyone. Make sure it's from SketchUp.com and not some other uh, website. Click on that link. It brings you to this page here, which basically just gives you tons of information on uh, what the tool can do. Uh, but you're basically going to click on this big red button here that says Download SketchUp. So it asks you a few questions. Basically wants to know what you're going to use the tool for. If you click this down or this arrow here for the drop-down menu, you have a few options. If you click Professional Work, it's going to want you to buy SketchUp Pro. So it's about uh, I think last time I checked it was about 600 bucks. It's, it's probably well worth it. Um, I don't know if you want to spend 600 bucks on SketchUp or not, but uh, for what what I plan to use it for, the personal projects is the free one. And that one's going to work just fine. It does plenty and 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 more. Uh, the educational use one I think is a pro version, but it also uh, gives you a discount because they figure students, you know, don't have very much uh, money to spend on tools like this. So you're going to click on personal projects, and you're just going to fill out your email here. You can select either to send uh, or to receive uh, emails from them or not. I don't really want to. Um, then it's going to ask you what sort of field you're in, if you're engineer, um, game design. Uh, for, for my purposes, I use uh, SketchUp for woodworking, so there's a selection there for that. And then you're going to tell them whether you have a PC or a Mac. And you have to agree to the terms and then click download. And I've already done that. Um, I thought I was recording when I did, <laughs> and my screencast uh, software <laughs> stopped recording for some reason. So. Here, uh, I, I basically clicked that, it downloaded, it took about a minute, and now I have, uh, I have the uh, file here, so I'm just gonna click on that. It's gonna start to install SketchUp. So the free version is called SketchUp Make, the pro version is just SketchUp Pro. Just let your computer do its thing until it basically asks you to do something. Um, just go through these and did, you know install it wherever you want. I am just going to leave it default, so I'm going to go next. Click here to install. Let it do it. Let it do its thing again. takes about a minute or so depending on your uh, computer's performance now this tool is somewhat heavy as far as processing power so you want to make sure you have a decent laptop um, I'm running Windows 10 I think I have 6 gig of RAM it's not the fastest computer um, but it does just fine on here so just want to make sure you don't have, you know, like a 10 year old uh, laptop or PC that you're putting this on because you might have some issues. It is a pretty powerful tool, so it requires some computing power. All right, complete a SketchUp, hit finish. And I believe that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to go here to my start menu. And these are. Style Builder is something that kind of comes along with SketchUp. I'm going to find SketchUp on here. SketchUp 2016. So it comes with Layout, Style Builder, and SketchUp. We're not going to go over Layout or Style Builder. Today we're just talking about SketchUp. So we're going to, I'm actually going to bring this over here to my taskbar and uh, link it down there so it's easily accessible for me. So it's this little 3D drawing for an icon. And here's the license and terms agreement. You want to read through all that and agree if you agree and hit continue. 
So it comes to this page here and they always basically, <laughs> they're advertising here, they want you to buy SketchUp Pro. Um, but uh, you're basically gonna, you can either choose a template first, like what what sort of design are you gonna make here? There's, there's tons of designs here. Um, the basic one, simple template, is pretty easy. That one you might use a lot, it's in feet and inches. They also have a woodworking one down here where it's, uh, you could either set it for woodworking in inches or wood, woodworking in millimeters. Um, you could select that now, uh, but I'm gonna show you another way to do that here by just uh, basically not doing anything, um, just clicking this button here saying start using SketchUp. Oh, I'm sorry, I take that back. I guess you have to select a template the first time you use it. Um, I actually uninstalled SketchUp so I could show you guys how to install it and I didn't remember that it asked you the first time you use it to select a template. So let's just say we're going to do a simple template in feet and inches. Start using SketchUp. Let it load. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's sort of this... Uh, this empty slate here with this the, it usually pops up with this woman and that's kind of just to show you uh, the aspect of your uh, your field here so um, this default tray comes extended out you can actually hide that by clicking that X so that way you have a little bigger window here to view and uh, the first thing I do unless you want uh, this woman in your drawing the first thing I do is actually you could either select her and hit the delete key or you can actually use the erase tool and click on, uh, click on the woman and it'll actually erase it. So this is your blank uh, SketchUp pane here and um, this is what you're going to use to create some nice 3D drawings and plans that you can use to, to build projects on your woodworking projects. Thanks for watching guys. That concludes the video for today. This was pretty much the most basic of the uh, video series. Um, stay tuned for video number two where I'll be covering all of the tools um, SketchUp has to offer, what they're called and what you can use them for. Um, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you aren't already so you don't miss any of these great tutorials. And uh, please click that like button that helps uh, get this video sort of circulated around YouTube a bit more. Um, also. Uh, shameless plug here. Just find me on um, all the social media platforms. You can find me at Social Woodworks um, And I'd love to connect with you guys on um, any of those platforms. So take care and I'll see you on the next video